fact, here's another one. I am indeed lucky for something. I'm going to suspect you also don't have it, but I will gladly kick your ass anyway. Ooh, a purloin, eh? Yeah, nice try, but I'm not going to let that purloin deceive me. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Nah, it's nothing to do with that. I'll say I'm not really a fan of your outfits. Well, fine, I'll go look elsewhere, although I do see... Uh, someone to battle against? Just a normal trainer? I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day. A battle here is a piece of cake. Ooh, I could do with some cake, actually. Hey, a first appearance of a Pokemon Ranger in this game. Nice. Uh, let's see, a Herdia. Who by, the who by the looks of it does not have the Intimidate ability. I don't think it actually... Uh... Oh dear, that's bad for you. Yep, you're gone. Ooh, that's a juicy amount of experience, boys. I like that. Actually, seeing as we're in a forest, might as well, uh... Ooh, Chesterberry, thank you very much. Seeing as, seeing as we're in the forest, might as well have a look and see if there's any hidden items, as well as some Pokemon. No, that's just a P-Dove. Oh, man, these Pokemon are actually quite high level. This is actually... Yeah, this could be a decent place to... Do some training if I need it before I take on the next gym. Uh, oh, I guess it's further down that way. All right, fine. Anything up here? By the looks of it, no. But there is a actual item to see here. A Venipede. I suspect I'd see you in the forest, considering we just battled one of you just before. You want to be careful, though. You might use a bug-type move, but I was kind of surprised that you were using the suit there. Oh no! Poison points, that's not good. That's really not good. I mean, I've got some antidotes. But still. Let's try and catch you anyway. Nice. Alright. Venipede was caught. Neat. Venipede. The centipede Pokemon. Its bite injects a potent poison enough to paralyze large bird Pokemon that try to prey on it. Very smart. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to use the antidote because I'm trying to remember. I know in the older games, if a Pokemon's poisoned and you don't heal them, they faint, but I know in recent games. Like, Pokemon are poisons do... Like, the poison does wear off. There it is, Tiny Mushroom. It's actually in the grass. That's uh, unusual. A Cottony. Alright. P-Dove, you can easily take care of this Pokemon. And you know what? Considering these Pokemon are actually somewhat decent leveled, I think. Probably good, a good excuse just to do a little bit of extra training while I'm here. Oh, nice. Man, p -Dub is just unleashing a load of critical hits here. Loads of critical hits. You're impressing me right now, p -Dub. 
I do think once you do evolve, you're definitely going to be a lot more better in battle overall. I just feel like your defense stats are just a little bit on the low side to me. I don't know. It just feels like it's just a little bit on the low side. I mean, I should try and catch some of these Pokemon, but you know what? I'll take the experience as well. Anyway, let me just run back to uh, that nurse. Just get my Pokemon healed uh, once again, and we can continue on our way, and I get to save using my antidotes. There we go. Nicely uh, healed up, and also... Nice to see that the dancing machine is actually still on, this, on the display. That's cool. Right, let's carry on. Looks like no other items. So let's keep on going. Okay, another trainer to battle. Uh, probably worth training up. You know what? No, you know what? Let's train up P Dub a little bit more. I kind of want to try and evolve you before the end of this session. Another cottony. Might as well. Uh oh. I forgot you knew Stun Spore. Not ideal. I mean, I do have a, a paralysis heal. I was just wondering whether I should just run back to. Oh no, come on, P Dove. Don't do this now. Come on. Come on, you were doing so well before. Oh, come on, P-Dove. Don't do this now. You were doing so well. Why are you doing this to me? Come on. There we go. Oh, and it missed. Oh, come on. Oh, it's Cottony. All right, Cottony, if you're going to be an absolute jerk, then I'm just going to have to teach you a lesson. Right, okay. P-Dove's clearly not in any good shape. So, I'll just use Blitzel's Flame Charge instead. To teach you a little bit of a lesson. There we go. Yeah, that's what you get, Cottony. Get out of here. Okay, well, you know what? That ended up being a lot more horrible than I thought it would be that battle. So, let's run back and heal my Pokemon. Come back in the forest and I encounter a Pokemon, I think, in the exact same spot as I did last time. Although this will be... Well, as long as you don't try and poison me, we should be okay. Uh-oh, poison sting. Let me guess, it's going to poison me, isn't it? No, it's not. Wow. How oh, very unusual. Usually that kind of attack poisons me straight away, but for once it didn't. So, thank you for actually not being a jerk for once, game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what you have uh, in your Pokemon squad, Nicholas. Ah, a Venipede. Nice, that's good enough for a P-Dove. P-Dove is very close to leveling up, which is pretty sweet. Oh, and of course you know Protect. I mean, okay, that's fine and all, but I mean, you can't do it all the time. Yep, there we go. Nice. Ooh, excellent. Level 20. Good stuff. And you know what? You might as well stay out for a bit, P-Dove, and take on this timber. You survived that? No way. Ooh, he just bonked, uh, he just bonked my uh, P-Dove on the head with a rock. You jerk. How dare you. There you go, take that. <laughs> nice, level 20. And that's still not enough to level up Peter to evolve Peter. Really? Really? Wow. Okay. Interesting. 
not enough to level up uh, P Dove. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I can't be bothered running back, so I'm just going to use two potions. Why not? That will do. It's fine. I've got plenty of uh, other healing items as well, so not too worried. Might as well get the dancing machine up and running. A hidden item around somewhere. I'll pick up this antidote. Oh, hello. Yeah, I thought those uh, little, what, piles of grass or whatnot is uh, a little bit suspicious. Oh, that's bad news for you. <laughs> because I've still got P-Dove up uh, as my first Pokemon. So it's not level 20 that you evolve. Is it level 21? I'm not going to lie, I'm actually kind of surprised you haven't evolved yet. I forgot just how high a level you need to be to evolve into your second form, yeah. As the, as the regional, like, flying type Pokemon, well, that's actually quite high. Well, if I'm going to think about it, what level does Hootoot evolve into a Noctowl? Because Hootoot and Noctowl were it, pretty much like Johto's, like, flying type Pokemon. Seeing as it only it's only like just the Hootoot and the Noctowl, so maybe Hootoot evolves at a higher level because there's only one evolution, so that would make sense. But even so, that's kind of surprising. Uh, looks like we've got to go a long way around. So that's fine. Oh, can we get through here? We can. Ah, but only a certain way. All right, let's uh, just make our way through here. Oh, another annoying cottony. You know what? We'll try and battle you anyway. Wow, you're faster than me. Interesting. I don't know. To me, flying type Pokemon I consider to be some of the fastest Pokemon around, but. P-Dove seem to be a little bit on the slow side. Not to be, uh, not to uh, lie. I'm surprised, actually. I kind of forgot. Anyway, yep, just another uh, Pokemon Ranger hiding in, like, a, a pile of grass. Ooh, Pampor. Okay. Probably better off bringing out either... Servine or Blitzel. I'm going to bring out Servine. I kind of need to train up Servine a little bit more. Ooh, water gun. Ah, thanks for a nice refreshing uh, watering. That was a critical hit. Wow, that hardly did anything. <laughs> that hardly did anything. Nice. Okay, so presumably there's going to be another Pokemon Ranger that will have a Pansia. I can't remember which ones we've battled. We've battled a Pansage, a Pan Poor. In here? Yep, another tiny mushroom. There must be another Pokemon Ranger somewhere. Meanwhile, I definitely saw you. Hi! <laughs> So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. Yeah, good luck with that because birds running along the main road to intercept you guys while I'm here to uh, weed out the weak. Okay, level 16 Pat Rats. Will this battle be enough to level up my p -dub? Actually, it could be. It very much could be. Ooh, crunch. Okay, and the ladder did not have Munner out at, the, at that time. Oh, and of course you're going to use Detect. Yeah, you realise that you're already in trouble, so you're going down the Protect slash Detect um, route. I mean, again, you're just delaying the inevitable, so let me just have this win, and we can be on our way. Thank you very much. Oh, that's enough. Please tell me it's level 21 that P-Dub uh, evolves. Oh, it is! Nice! Okay, finally! Ooh, 
Wonderful, my P-Dove evolved into Tranquil. Yeah, well, that's what you think. Anyway, now that my P-Dove has finally evolved, you're probably going to be a lot more effective in battle now, Tranquil. But I'd say for now that will do you for training. I kind of now want to train up... Uh, I was going to train up Munna, but mm, with all this bug type bug going around, probably not a good idea. Handport? Nah, uh, we've got some grass type bug going around here too. To be honest, let's train up Blixer a little bit. And let's get the dancing machine back on. There we go. Okay, a wild cottony. That's fine. Blitzel can take care of that with your new flame charge. There it is. Also, I did see a suspicious pile of uh, grass there. So, presumably, that'll be where another uh, Pokemon Ranger is going to be. Presumably with the third and final of the Elemental Monkey Pokemon. There we go. No problem at all for Blitzel. Ooh, so close. Okay. Is anyone hiding in here? Hello? No, that's a wild Pokemon because I overshot the uh, space there. Ah, a P-Dove. Nice. All right, that's fine by me. We'll uh, just easily take care of you with a nice shockwave. Oh, of course, you're going to go down the quick attack route because you know that you kind of screwed there, P-Dove. You certainly were. Nice, level 19. I can't remember what level Blitzel evolved. But I'm going to assume it's quite high. No, no one was hiding in there. Ah, someone's going to be hiding in one of these... Um, lumps of grass though, surely. No? No? Yes! There we go. Blend into the wilderness and talk to Pokemon with your heart. That is a ranger. Man, it's been so long since I last played any of the Pokemon Ranger games. I don't mind revisiting some of them again. Anyway, uh, Pansia. And yes, I'm well aware that I still haven't finished off, like, the multiplayer missions of Guardian Sides, but honestly, considering it's such a... It is such a chore to try and, you know, level, like, grind up your levels in that, as well as try and plan out some strategies that I effectively kind of given up. I'm not ruling out the possibility of actually getting back into that game, but... It's been a good few years since I last played the game on the channel, and honestly, I just don't feel like I'm going to be returning to it anytime soon. I would like to check out the first Pokemon Ranger game again, seeing as it's been almost six years since I did that Let's Play of it on the channel. Okay, another berry to add to the collection. Is there anything down here that is actually there is an item but my blitzel is getting a little bit weak so I think what I'll do I'll just bring out oops I'll switch around just bring out Herdia for the time being and get Herdia to take care of some Pokemon while I investigate this little area Mind you, I do have a repel thinking about it, so I suppose I could just use that. I just want to investigate what's just around this area, because presumably this is just a little, like... Just a little, like, blocked off area. Yeah, it's just this one item up here. Oh, finally! We've finally seen a wild sewaddle. Uh, but I'm not going to battle you. And thinking about it, it's probably not worth me just putting on a repel just to get through this section. Ooh, Grass Knot. Okay. Remind me, what does Grass Knot do? I wasn't expecting a TM, to be honest. Uh, where are you? Grass Knot. The user snares the target with grass and trips it. The heavier the target, the greater the damage. 
might be worth teaching that to Servine. Uh, I'll hold off for now. Yeah, there's no way up there. I think I'm going to have to learn Surf or something. Or find another way around. Get to that item. Oh, come on. The last square of grass and I find a Pokemon. Oh, you annoying so Waddle. Yeah, I've come so far now that it's probably not worth me trying to run all the way back through the forest just to find that NPC who can heal my Pokemon. Besides, I think we're nearly uh, through this bit. Tell you what, let's... Yeah, let's just trade up Servine a little bit more. Well, but then again, if I'm just training up a Pokemon, why don't I just train up Pokemon while I'm at it? So I'll tell you what, Pampor, you go up front and then I'll just switch to uh, Servine if necessary. Um, yeah. Alright, you can take me on if you want, but uh, good luck beating me. Even though I'm also trying to train up my Pokemon at the same time. Although you've got three Pokemon, so hopefully your Pokemon will be a little bit lower level than normal. L14, perfect. Also, it's a Pat Rat, and I just remembered that I taught Pampor. Rock Smash! Oh, and of course you're going to use Detect. Oh, come on. You're telling me that you're already... Oh, come on, really? Oh, here we go. NPCs going down a rather jerkish route here. Oh, good. I'm glad it failed, because screw you and your constant detect. Yeah, that's what you get, you, you jerk. Have another rock smash for good luck. I believe you're going to try and use it three times in a row there. That's just ridiculous. Let me guess, you're going to use it again? No, you're not. Okay, good. Okay, I think Pampor might actually be able to get through this battle relatively unharmed. Yeah, alright. Yeah, this is looking good. Ooh, Sandile. Oh, Sandile. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally stick with Pampor. Intimidate. Um, yeah, sure, you can use that because I'm no longer going to be using Rock Smash. Water gun, right in your face. You may look like a crocodile, but certainly not really a crocodile that uh, likes the water. <laughs> nice, excellent Good stuff. <laughs> Save the Pokemon. Like I believe that. Oh. Nice, you did have the skull. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Oh, who's this? Uh, Gorm. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages. I'm mortified that this skull, which we went to so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon School. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, is that so? Oh, sweet! The book Pokemon, we're getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. <laughs> Are you here to help your friends who might defeat it? Oh, and here's Lenora. The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Yet, sis, another of the seven sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. You think? <laughs> know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will sell this someday. 
Well, I'm gonna look forward to kicking your asses so hard one day, Gorm. And any of the other seven sages that try to interfere with us. We got back the stolen skull, and if we call them, there's no telling what they might do. Yeah, I mean, we got the skull at least, so that's all well and good. Well, now, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yep, I'm very much looking forward to that. So, indeed, it is bug type Pokemon. I probably did read it somewhere literally in this game before when I mentioned it, but uh, I don't know, sometimes I have a habit of. Um, Forgetting things quite quickly. Ooh, a moonstone. And Pokemon evolve when you use the item on them. Okay. Out of interest. Do I have any Pokemon with me that can evolve with a moonstone? Let's have a look. Use. Probably. Oh, Munna. I guess that makes sense, actually, thinking about it. It kind of looks like a kind of Pokemon I might use in Moonstone for some reason. So I can potentially evolve Munna if I wanted to. But not going to do that right now. Anyway, so does this take us back to the main path? I think it does. A Miracle Seed. Oh, Miracle Seed. Ah, nice. Oh, hang on a minute. Nice. I've forgotten what item... Um... Oh, you're already holding a miracle seed. Really? When did we get? When did we get a second miracle seed? Oh, we got it from. Uh, oh, I think we got it from an item in one of the houses, didn't we? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh well, you yeah, know that's fine. Right. Now we have still got a few trainers to battle. I was kind. I was trying to avoid you, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to uh, have to battle some of these people. I kind of want to heal my Pokemon. Explore the rest of this forest. Or well, as much as I can as possible. And uh, see if we can get to Castelia City before I end this session. Anyway, we've got a woo bat. Uh, let's give you a little lick. Why not? Yum. Yeah, that did hardly anything at all. <laughs> But you know what? We're just gonna mm you. Yeah, this is probably gonna knock out Pampor, isn't it? Yeah, probably not worth it. Oh, but my Blitzel needs uh, healing as well. Not ideal. Uh, okay, we'll just have to bring out Herdia for now. Heart stamp? What the heck? Alright, fine. There we go, get rid of you at least. Uh, another Woo Bat, okay. Um, I am going to take a chance with Blitzel, even though you are not at your strongest. Really could have done with some healing, but just have to deal with this for now, I'm afraid. Okay, good, 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 good. If you do decide to bring out another one, hopefully we can get the attack in first and it'll be the same result. Nice, okay, good, nice, good stuff. I really want to get back and try and heal my Pokemon, but you're probably going to stop me, aren't you? Yes, you are, you absolute little jerk. <laughs> Alright, fine, we'll battle you as well, but I really want to heal my Pokemon. But I suspect I'm near the, the edge of the forest anyway. Ooh, you've got a Munner as well. Alright, level 17, no. Not sure if, uh... Oh, a little to war gun of all things. What, not my lick? I'm gonna use yawn, which is fine, I guess. 
Okay, use water gun before you fall asleep, Pampo. See how much damage it does. Not really much. Yep, and now my Pampo has fallen asleep. Um, right, okay. I suppose I'll just have to bring our Servine. Don't really have any other Pokemon that can take care of you. Really could have done with uh, my Pokemon getting healed after that battle. Considering we were, like, stuck in the middle of the forest, but hey, what can you do? Uh, right, just use Leaf Tornado. Let's use Vine Whip. Nice. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that. Uh, Munna. And you're very close to leveling up as well, Sir Vine. Okay, yeah, we were at the end. Excellent. Okay, good. That's fine. Good, 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 good. Let's heal our Pokemon very quickly. Follow the road. Battle a few more trainers. And see... If we can uh, get across uh, the bridge, I think we're. Hang on a minute. Just quickly check the map. It is definitely the bridge after this forest, isn't it? Yeah, Sky Arrow Bridge. So it is. We are literally like very near the bridge. So we're definitely getting there. Uh, do you want a battle? No. Uh, Marathon champion of Unova region. Oh well, good for you. Ah, oh, you seem like someone who wants a battle. No. Okay, alright, fair enough. Do you want a battle? Yay! We finally got someone who wants to battle. Nice. And now that my Pokemon are fully healed, we are back up to full strength, so uh, be warned, Millie. Okay, so you're sending out a P-Dove, while I send out Pampo for the time being. Just give you a nice refreshing uh, wash there with my water gun right in the face. <laughs> yeah, you can use growl all you want. That's fine. It's not going to stop me from winning this with water gun. Oh, you're going to use quick attack. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Not good news for you, though. Uh, Purloin. I am going to switch Pokemon. And you, yeah, let's just bring our Servine. So you're literally on the verge of leveling up, so I might as well take care of that level up now. A lot of Pokemon seem to use Pursuit in these parts. It'd be pretty deadly if I was to try and switch Pokemon, so probably just as well I didn't switch. Um, Stick with uh, Pampo and Switch because that could have been bad. Anyway, let's get the dancing machine on because I see a gap here. Yes, indeed. Oh, hang on, but there's someone blocking the way. Hello? Presence of a f of fierce Pokemon. Ah, so we can't go down here, unfortunately. So presumably there's an item down there. Okay. So it looks like we got to wait until a little while before we can uh, check that out. Okay, not as much as I thought. So, hey, does this mean we get to check out Sky Arrow Bridge? Dude, look at this! Oh, look at the look at that bridge! That's so cool. So I love the camera angle, actually. <laughs> That's so cool. Right, in here we go. In battle, striking first is essential. So here, ah, quick claw. Oh look, I'm making the news. Nuvema Town challenged and successfully beaten uh, Lenora, the Nacrane gym leader. Tender loving care. They grow in no time. Daycare on Route 3. And today's date, once again, showing just how far ahead in advance I am recording. But, you know, that's the way it is. With me uh, working full time, I don't always have a huge amount of free time to do these kind of recordings. So I pretty much just do them as and when, even if it means mean even if it means that videos like this might not appear for a good few weeks. <laughs> anyway, um, hello. 
If you cross the Skyro Bridge from here, you'll reach Castelia City. Oh, let's walk over this bridge before we end this recording. The Sky Arrow Bridge. Right above uh, the road traffic as well. Yeah, there it goes, there goes the truck. Nice. Yo. The way the bridge curves right here, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, we're not going to run across. We're just going to have a nice little walk. There goes another lorry. And there we go. We're already above the... Uh, already above that um, little uh, ch uh, that checkpoint gate thing. And just the constant camera angle changes of just crossing over this, quite frankly, this gigantic bridge. My god, this is such a huge bridge. It's totally based on one of the bridges uh, from New York. Also, I could just about see your sprite down there. The exact center point of Sky Arrow Bridge. Well, while you do that, I'm just going to... Wait, hang on. No, we got a boat. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you for distracting me, random person. I get to see the uh, boat sail underneath the bridge. That's so cool. <laughs> another camera angle change, as we just about see in the distance there. Oh, there goes another boat. Sweet. As we make our way towards the outskirts of Castelia City. I'm just going to stand right next to this random person and take in the skyline there. Nice. And with that, we've crossed the bridge. So, you know what? I think this is a good time to end this recording and we'll check out Castelia City proper next time. So, thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.